KPFX and HD1, Kindred, Fargo, Moorhead, and KDLB HD3, Frazee Detroit Lakes. Rock on! Locally owned and operated by Radio FM Media. We're your home for the bison and number one for classic rock that really rocks. 107.9 The Fox. Now, here's today's headlines with The Fox Morning Show. On 107.9 The Fox. Welcome to January 30th. Welcome back. Today is a very special day. And I think I smell croissants. It is National Croissant Day. Huh, croissant. Croissant? Croissant. Would you like a croissant? We are celebrating National Croissant Day this morning. Croissant? Oh, croissants. It's croissant. <laughs> croissants, I love croissants. Oh, yeah. It's showtime. <laughs> yeah. Croissant. Nobody knows how to pronounce it. No. Croissant? <laughs> croissant? Croissant. Kwanzaa? Quantum of Solace. Right. <laughs> Koala sex. Quadrophenia. There's a million ways you can... <laughs> Hard to say, but easy to eat. Crocus? Crocus, yes. <laughs> I love crocus. I do, too. Unappreciated band. Yeah, right? You're not about crocus. <laughs> love those Canadian rockers up there. Yep. <laughs> well, welcome to it. Here it is. We made it through Monday. And that was a beautiful Monday. Oh, was that nice? Yeah. Got some melting done. Oh, my God. Uh, we are starting out with some fog this morning in some areas. How about you coming in? Nope. Where's nope. Bell? Okay. Some areas do have fog, so be careful. Otherwise, sunshine today and 40s. Tonight, 30s. Tomorrow, they're saying mid 40s, but I heard one local weatherhead say 53, which would be a new Fargo record. We got, oof. Yeah, right? Oh, so, man. so pushing 50 for sure tomorrow. Check it out for yourself. That full Fox forecast through the rest of your work week can be found at 1079thefox.com. We've got 34 at 603. Welcome to, and here it is, already the 30th day of January. Can you believe that? Into the new year. Happy Tuesday. Here's what's shaking in our corner of the globe. Uh, Authorities investigate a possible abduction case in Polk County. A 17-year-old girl was found around 4.30 yesterday afternoon along 410 Avenue uh, in Bigland uh, Mm. by a local resident. The girl told deputies she'd been abducted and taken to that location. She was medically cleared by Altru Ambulance. Yeah, authorities say they're investigating the incident. Anybody who has seen or sees anything suspicious while driving south of East Grand Forks along Highway 220 in the area between Highway 2 and the Thompson Bridge, call the sheriff's office, let them know. Uh, Kyle Christopher Cuoto, Cuoto, 27, has been in, sentenced to more than five years in prison for shooting at a woman in front of her mother in Mapleton last year, June 3rd. Court documents uh, say Cuoto fired one shot near a woman's foot and fired another shot at her. Uh, Cuoto had been scheduled to go on trial back in November, but that was canceled after a plea deal. Uh, he was charged with aggravated assault, multiple terrorizing charges, reckless endangerment, and refusal to halt. As a part of a plea deal, an attempted murder charge was dropped. He was sentenced uh, Monday to 65 months in prison with credit for 240 days of time served. Fargo PD, along with Red River Valley SWAT team and Metro Street Crime Units, conducted a high-risk search warrant Monday afternoon as well. Operation happened around 3 o'clock in the 600 block of 11th Street North in Fargo. Police were looking for a suspect in connection to an armed robbery earlier that day. Uh, police were able to arrest 34-year-old Claudio Delgado of Fargo. He's been charged with armed robbery and burglary and transported to Cass County Jail. Uh, let's see here. National, yeah, croissant day. By the way, Burger King, the few we have left, yeah, uh, is selling its croissant breakfast sandwiches for a penny. Oh, a penny? A penny. You got to be part of their loyalty program, and I think that just means you got to get the app. Okay. All right. uh, hey. And that's uh, a penny. And you got to spend at least a buck on something else. Oh. And you get a croissant, a croissant <laughs> for a penny. For a penny. Yeah. Right. Uh, would you ever dip your pizza in guacamole? Huh. You know, mm. the brand holy guacamole well, is desperately trying to make this a thing for Super Bowl Sunday. You know, I don't know if sales are down. I don't, I don't know. A taco pizza? I bet. Yeah. Oh, I bet a taco pizza? That'd, that'd be, great. be great. Yeah. Why haven't we thought of this? Right? Yeah. We dip everything in ranch, <laughs> including our fist. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. Lick it up. 35-year-old woman in Florida got arrested after she walked into a convenience store naked, started oh. threatening people with a potato peeler. Yeah. Well, if she had a potato peeler, I guess she wasn't naked then, was she? <laughs> and nobody takes you serious when you're naked. No, and a potato peeler. Right. I ain't got no potatoes. <laughs> 
I got no beef with you, I and I got no, no potatoes to go no, with that no, beef. No, none. None. And Joni Mitchell will perform at the Grammys for the first time at age 80. Wow. Can you believe Gra- Joni Mitchell's never performed huh? at the Grammys? Isn't that crazy? She heard the word Grammy and thought she was talking about the grandkids. So she's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> no, that's, that's your news for right now. Headlines brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. Coming up this morning, another reason why Joe Buck sucks. Plus, another chance to win tickets and pit passes for Monster Jam at 735. Big showdown last night down there in OKC between our T-Wolves and Thunder for first place. We'll check that scoreboard in sports next. Edwards hangs, floats, and scores. Oh, Edwards with 27 last night. The T-Wolves take the Thunder 107 to 101, and they take sole possession back over in the Western Conference standings. With all that. They needed that. Yeah. Edwards still not happy after the game. I'm going to take the fine because the refs did not give us no calls tonight. We had to play through every bump, every grab. I don't know. I don't know how we won tonight. Uh, Big shout out to my team. Big shout out to my coaches for sure. Yeah. He thought it was five on eight last night. That's what he said. Five on eight. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Hate to... Hate to see him lose money by saying all that, but hey, sometimes you got to speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolves back in action tomorrow. They'll be hosting the Mavs. Meanwhile, in baseball news, the Twins have traded second baseman Jorge Polanco to the Mariners for a five player deal. We're getting four of those players and maybe even some cash, and all four pit are pitchers. Much needed pitchers because Twins need some pitching. In fact, uh, they start reporting pretty quick. Pitchers and catchers start reporting next week to some team. Next week. Mid-February for our twins. That's lovely. Yeah, that's right around the corner, man. That, 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 that's another sign. Spring is that's almost exactly here. That's exactly right. Meanwhile, Vikings tight end TJ Hawkinson finally had surgery yesterday to repair that torn ACL in his right knee. His knee has been so swollen this whole time that they finally were able to get him in and do the surgery. So now with you know, training camp only six months away <laughs> uh, for an injury like that, that's that's uh, it's going to make it close to be uh-huh. back in time for the regular season. So Vikings have not yet provided a timetable for Hawkinson's return to the field. So, yeah, just six months away. Think about that. That's not that far. And football will be back. We got one more game, though, left to play. Super Bowl 58, and it's breaking Ticket price records. Of course it is. The of course average, it is. The average ticket price for Super Bowl 58. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? This is, just, this is dumb. $12,082. Oh. $12,082 for one ticket to the Super Bowl. One, one, average one average price. That's average. One. <laughs> You're going to pay at least 5000 some to sit in the nosebleeds. Jeez. Yeah. I don't think we're going, dude. No. Nope. That's not the people's game anymore, it seems no. like to me, man. That's no. just going to sit at greed. home. Greed. Just greed. Sit at home and eat my guacamole. And it's in Vegas. It's in Vegas. You know what I mean? I mean Which would be fun. can afford to go. Yeah. 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 That would be cheap to get to for yes. us. For all of them. Well, not all of America, but yeah, yeah. 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 The, mm-hmm. the ones that count here in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Super Bowl 58 at Las Vegas, Sunday, February 11th. No, I'll just be staying home and dipping my pizza into guacamole. There you go. That's right. Yeah, now I got to have taco pizza. (laughs) That's your Fox Sports. Big deal, right? Uh, Fox forecast again, starting out with some fog this morning in some areas. So careful. Sunshine the rest of today with a high in the 40s. Tonight's low in the 30s. And we could be pushing 50 tomorrow. How about that? At Full Fox Forecast anytime at 1079thefox.com. We've got 34 at 613. Toilet lid, open or closed. You're wrecking mm. the place. We're <laughs> going to talk about it coming up. Now, here's the Fox Morning Show. On 107.9 The Fox. All right, so Dave, do you flush with the toilet lid open or closed? Closed. Yeah, I do too. I heard a long oh. time ago that... When you flush, you airlize it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and it spreads cooties Even everywhere. You have no, you you've never been able to see it, you know. But it's uh, it's it's up there. Yep. It, all the water droplets, it's droplet mm-hmm. infection. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, they say that it's not any less gross whether you flush with the toilet lid open or closed. A new study says that flushing sends viral particles and germs everywhere, even if the lid is closed. I don't know about that. Maybe maybe there's that one little hole in the front, you know. Uh-huh. 
You know that gap with the toilet lid if you if you have that gap, you know? Right. I don't know about that. How can it? Well, they, unless it sticks to the lid when you open it up, it goes, you know. <laughs> they do say closing the lid can reduce the bigger particles that come flying out. Great. <laughs> yeah, the ones that stick to your face. Right. Good Lord. But they say the only meaningful way to reduce the spread of viral pathogens is to regularly clean and sanitize your toilet and the surrounding area often. Okay, is it okay if I get off of it first, <laughs> Marge, before you... All right. A little time, please. <laughs> you want me to lift my feet for you, honey? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I use the poo-pourri. Uh, they actually recommend using toothbrushes. Not <laughs> your own. Maybe an old one. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so they really want you to get in all the nooks and crannies, right? So, flushing the toilet lid open or closed are really both kind of gross. Super gross. Super gross. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what, it's a lose-lose, right? It smells like to me. But we and asked, always wash your hands. Yeah, but we asked on our fan page on Facebook at 1079thefox.com. We got some interesting comments, and we will go over those coming up. Now here's the Fox Morning Show. 107.9 The Fox. All right, so we asked on our fan page on Facebook at 1079thefox.com, do you flush with the toilet lid open or closed? Because I think most have always heard that it's gross if you don't close the lid. But according to a new study, they're both kind of gross. They say it doesn't matter, open or close. I I don't get that. I mean, unless it's one of those slow closing lids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As you're flushing. We do have, but I don't flush until I don't have one. I got one of them heavy lead ones that just (laughs) pump down. It's like a it's like a sewer hole cover or something. <laughs> and rightly so. Well, we have uh, some interesting comments here on our fan page. Uh, some simply just telling us whether or not, like, you know, some just simply saying, like Becky said, closed. Dean said open. Mike said open. Sherry said closed. But Aaron said, what if you're still on it? Does that mean it's closed? Oh, so- that's funny because Darcy Wright Rose wrote that she flushes as she's on it. That's weird. So she creates a sealed environment. <laughs> so really, it's just her butt that's infected now. <laughs> Which, that's where the infection came from anyway, right? There you go. <laughs> a full circle moment. Uh, Penny says, closed, unless at work where it does not have a lid. Ew. So now your co-worker's butt spray is everywhere in that bathroom. Yeah. I know. And we don't even have a cover in the, in, you know, like most commercial restrooms don't. Yeah. You know, it's just an open toilet. Right. And that's what Penny is saying. Yeah. Know? That, that, so, that work is, right, there yeah. is no lid. That's why I carry, you know. <laughs> that's why I generally don't use the company bathroom. Only to pee in the urinal. Oh, really? Yeah, I rarely yeah, use Yeah, but if you got, what do you, go home if you got to go? Sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just hold it till I go home. Next time I have sales asking if you know where Moose is, I'll tell him. (laughs) He went home. I think he went home. (laughs) He'll be back. That burrito's barking. (laughs) Trust me, you don't want him here. Uh, Bruce says with it open but closed when he poops. So he doesn't mind the urine spray. Yeah, but it's open while he's pooping, I hope. (laughs) You're not doing this wrong, are you? (laughs) Might have to get a hold of him. Clarity here. Get some clarity are you doing it wrong, Bruce? <laughs> Tony says close. That's the way you're supposed to do it. But again, we're finding out, according to a new study, they're both kind of gross. But you got to flush the toilet. It's not like you're not going to flush the toilet. Yeah, yeah. You, sp- yeah. you know what's gross? The people that don't even flush. There is that. What are you doing? Well, Check they- your work. <laughs> Check your work is right. But maybe they're doing us a favor. <laughs> Because if both ways are gross, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like eventually that, it's got to get flushed. I, I know. And maybe it can't flush. Maybe it's a Pringles can floating in there or something. <laughs> you got to get a plastic knife and cut everything up. It's a no-win situation. I hate those. Let us know on our fan page on Facebook at 1079thefox.com. When you flush the toilet, you flush with the toilet lid open or closed. This is the Fox Morning Show. Now, Now, here's what's trending on 107.9 The Fox. Well, would you like some free food the next time you go out to eat? Yes, please. (laughs) Right? Yes. 
Well, there's a free food hack. There's a video that's gone viral of this secret shopper and her advice on how to get free food. How hard is it to sign up to become a secret shopper? Essentially, businesses hire somebody to secretly come in as a diner and they ask this person to look out for certain things. How many minutes until your drink is dropped after you order it? Did the server offer you dessert? Was your cutlery clean? Then you go home and you write a report and you send it into the restaurant and they will reimburse the cost of your food up to a certain point and sometimes pay you additionally on top of that. You have to read the report ahead of time and then it would take 30 minutes to write it up. It was so fun because you felt like a spy undercover. The website I used was called iSecretShop.com. There you go. I'm already there. <laughs> I, as in the letter I, SecretShop.com. And again, as you heard, you got to write a little report. But how long is that going to take, right? All right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, go I- eat somewhere fancy. Fancy like Perkins? <laughs> or some... That's pretty damn fancy. <laughs> or, a, or a step up. I don't want to get in legal trouble here. We might be talking Red Lobster, Dave. <laughs> we might be talking I Red like Lobster. Dead Lobster. <laughs> Honey, put on your best dress. We're going to Red Lobster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, you know, as she said, you send it into iSecretShop.com. You'll get a portion of your money back, if not a little extra. It's worth it if you want to try it. I had an extra job once, and I've told you this before. Uh, brand master over here working at Sears selling electronics. Yeah. Rocking concert equipment, crap like that. <laughs> you know, anyway, uh, we would get secret shopped every oh. now and then. And, and our managers are always like, there's a secret shopper coming. Everybody <laughs> zip up now. Everybody look good. <laughs> Now, were they just telling you that? Who like, knows? Okay. Who knows? But then you'd hear about so-and-so over in vacuums got secret chopped. You oh. know? And then a whole store's a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> like a sewing circle. When I uh, when I worked for Taco Bell, the, the owner, uh, he at that time was a local guy and would just pop in. But we'd, he would give our store manager a heads up, and okay. we'd get the same reaction, the same thing, you know? Oh. Yeah. Everyone, tuck your shirts in. Like the Make sure you wear a belt. Yep. It is National Croissant Day. Huh. Croissant. 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 Would you like a croissant? We are celebrating National Croissant Day this morning. Croissant? Ooh, croissants. It's croissant. Croissants, I love croissants. Oh, yeah. It's showtime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, carne asada. <laughs> Those buttery, flaky things, you know. Oh, they're so good. Oh, yeah. They are. I, that's one of my preferred uh, breakfast rolls. Oh, yeah. A croissant. Oh, you bet. Yeah. I, yeah. Put Croissant. anything on it. Yeah. Put it, yeah. No. Yeah, hey. Put, make a sandwich out of it. You can put, you know, put Melted. something sweet in there. Jelly or. Yeah, right? Yeah, or but, another croissant. <laughs> it's fantastic. Ham with melted cheese. I know, right? Mm. Yeah, dude. It, yeah. Hey, yeah. All right. French got it right. That's right. Uh, that Fox forecast starting out with some fog in some areas, but another beautiful day with sunshine in 40s tonight, dipping into the 30s, and tomorrow, man, pushing 50. Yeah. Check it out. That full Fox forecast anytime at 1079thefox.com. We've got 34 right now at 702. Holy cats, it's already Tuesday, the 30th day of January in our new year. Here's what's shaking in our corner of the globe. Authorities in Polk County, Minnesota are investigating a possible abduction after a girl was found tied up on the side of the road last night. 17-year-old girl, she was found around 4.30 afternoon in Bigland Township by a local resident. The girl told told deputies she'd been abducted and was taken to that location. She was medically cleared by Altru uh, Ambulance. Authorities say they're investigating the incident. Boy... Christopher Kyle Christopher Quito, 27, has been sentenced to more than five years in prison for shooting at a woman in front of her mother in Mapleton last June. Uh, she shot; he's shot near the a woman's feet and fired another shot at her. He'd been scheduled to go on trial bas- this past November, but that was canceled after a plea deal. He was charged with aggravated assault, multiple terrorizing charges, reckless endangerment, refusal to halt. As part of a plea deal, an attempted murder charge was dropped. He was sentenced Monday to 65 months in prison with a credit for 240 days already served. 
Fargo cops, along with Red River Valley SWAT team and Metro Street Crimes Unit, conducted a high-risk search warrant yesterday afternoon. Uh, the operation happened around 3 o'clock in the 600 block, 11th Street North in Fargo. Cops were looking for a suspect in connection to an armed robbery earlier in the day. They were able to arrest a 134-year-old Claudio Del Galado of Fargo, charged with armed robbery and burglary, transported to Cass County Jail. Mm. Uh, and again, uh, want to heads up on that croissant day, uh, Burger King. Get that app because oh, yeah. if you spend a dollar there uh-huh. using the app, you get a croissant sandwich for a penny. Woo. It's a pretty good deal. So you're going to walk out of there with, with a couple of items for a dollar and one cent. Yeah, a little road food yeah. on the way home. You know, something nice. If aliens showed up tomorrow, 43% of people said they'd be cool with our current world leaders representing Earth. What? And 42% believe they would be able to negotiate peace with the aliens. <laughs> I got this, guys. Yeah. Just everybody shut up. Yeah. I got Hold this. Hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, give me two more beers. I'm <laughs> going to bring them with me as a right. gift. <laughs> peace offering. As you right. They'll think see. it's a bomb or something. <laughs> Eradicate me. Yeah, 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 they'll hit you with a laser beam. You'll turn to dust. Oh, Lord in heaven. A uh, man impersonated a police officer attempted to pull over a pickup truck in Louisiana but the pickup was driven by a cop. Uh-oh. Well, you love it when karma strikes immediately, don't yeah. you? Uh-oh. Num nah. Two passengers on a cruise from Miami to the UK were found to be carrying over 100 bags of marijuana. One of them claimed they had a medical marijuana card, and it was only for personal use. <laughs> Overall, the bags weighed 158 pounds. All right, Cheech. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. What, are you using a bed sheet to roll that joint? <laughs> Charged with drug trafficking. Uh, this seems conclusive. 92% of Americans want treats for Valentine's Day. Treats. Keep it simple. Yeah. Chocolate heart boxes, conversation heart candy. Okay. If you can find the ones that got the dirty words on it, that's Ooh. even better. That's oh. extra credit. Yeah, make sure who, you know you get that right, though. Don't slip those to the boss. Just don't put your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get brownie points <laughs> over there for the boss. <laughs> And finally, there was drama at a recent cat show in Mesa, Arizona, after one of the contestants attacked a judge. Oh. Uh, The event was put on by Cat Fanciers Association. It was a black cat named Ludwig von Beethoven. He he bit her hand and then slapped her in the face. (laughs) Like with its paw, huh? Yeah, with his paw. paw. Yeah, you ever seen a cat do that? Oh, it's hilarious. It is. And it's just funny. (laughs) Get yours. No one judges me, says Ludwig von Beethoven. That's right. <laughs> As your news for right now. <laughs> All right, coming up yet this morning. Here's shortly another reason why Joe Buck sucks. We think it's reason 22 by now. <laughs> we've run out of reasons. Yeah. Plus, Almost. And, plus, we've got another chance for you to win tickets and pit passes for Monster Jam at 735. Well, uh, Super Bowl 58 already breaking records. We'll tell you what that is next in sports. Edwards hangs, floats, and scores. Oh, Ant-Man. He was the man last night. Edwards scoring 27. The T-Wolves take the thunder, 107-101, to and they take over sole possession once again in the Western Conference standings. Nice, uh, back on top. Mm-hmm. You would think Edwards would have been happy after the game, but he wasn't. I'm going to take the fine because the refs did not give us no calls tonight. We had to play through every bump, every grab. I don't know. I don't know how we won tonight. Uh, big shout-out to my team. Big shout-out to my coaches, for sure. Yeah, he went on to say it was five on eight. Yeah. Five on eight. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first place Wolves are back in action tomorrow at home against the Mavs. Meanwhile, in baseball news, the Twins traded Jorge Polanco to the Mariners in a five-player deal. A lot of rumors this offseason that he was going to be traded were pretty solid there on the infield. So he is getting up there in age. He was expendable. And we got yeah. four players for him, all pitchers. And so that's important. And some cash, possibly, out of this deal, too. You know, they said the same thing about Big Poppy too. And he went on to be darn good. <laughs> I don't think Big Poppy was quite that old when we got rid of him, though. Was it? He's close. <laughs> I don't know. Blanco's 30. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You know what the body does after 30. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm Hard to get out of bed some days. Yeah, that's like worse. <laughs> Oh, by the way, pitchers and catchers start reporting to some teams as early as next week. My kid, he was just home yesterday. They live in like four days for their first For Arizona, series. right? Uh, Colorado. Colorado. They start in Colorado and Colorado Springs this nice. year. Nice. In just a 
little over a week, man. It's crazy. Baseball's almost here. Yeah. Meanwhile, Vikings tight end TJ Hawkinson had surgery yesterday, finally, to repair that torn ACL in his right knee. It's been that swollen for that long. They finally were able to do surgery. Vikings have not yet provided a timetable for Hawkinson's return to the field. But, hey, we're only six months away from training camp opening back up. Yeah. I can't believe it was that swollen still. Yeah. See, at Marge had been yelling at me because I had been taking my ibuprofen. Otherwise, it would have been down. See? See, he doesn't want to go back. <laughs> he needs a Marge. <laughs> yeah, he does need a Marge. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's one more game left to be played, of course, this season. Super Bowl 58, already breaking ticket prices. <sighs> yeah, the average ticket price is a staggering $12,082. It's up 70% from last year. I think it has a couple of reasons for that. Because, A, we're kind of getting further away from the whole COVID thing. You know, yeah. it took a little while for everybody to buy in that it's safe to go into big public stadiums like that. I think that has something to do with it. And it's in Las Vegas. Is that an open stadium in Vegas? No. It's a closed it's stadium. Closed. How often does it rain in Vegas? No, but the heat. Oh, that's why. Yeah. A bunch of babies. Yeah. 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 Well, we're going to have the AC on. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> Dude, when, you know, football I... starts in August, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hot there. <laughs> we're wearing shorts. I'm fine. Yeah. The stadium is super cool. It looks like the head of Dar- it, Darth Vader. It does look cool. I, yeah. I want to go to a Vikings game there because yeah. it's so ex- it's so inexpensive to get there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm probably not much more than driving the gas money to go to to go to Minneapolis hey, to catch a game. The cheap seats for Super Bowl Fifty Eight are only five thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars. <sighs> yeah. I Let mean, you scam your way in. Yeah. You're there right? are all those people there. Yeah, I know. Super Makes me sick Bowl just look at you people. 58 at Las Vegas, Sunday, February 11th. That's your Fox Sports. The Fox forecast with some fog in some areas this morning. Sunshine the rest of today with a high reach in the 40s, 30s tonight, and pushing 50 tomorrow. Check it out for yourself at 1079thefox.com. We've got 34 now at 713. Well, I'm writing down another reason why Joe Buck sucks. It's because he's probably <laughs> going to be at the Super Bowl. I'm- Coming up, another reason why Joe Buck sucks. Now, here's the Fox Morning Show. 107.9 The Fox. Hey, it's Farley, our afternoon guy in the house. Yay. How we doing? Good. Good. You? Pretty good. Pretty good. I wanted to bring to attention something that you posted that Dave and I actually talked about last week. But I thank you for keeping this story alive because I feel like it's not getting enough traction. Oh. And that's the Joe Buck story. Oh, that's... Who admitted, admitted. Yes. He shouldn't have said that about Randy Moss oh, back in the day. That's a disgusting act. Yeah. Right? I, I'll never forget those words. He's just an arrogant jerk. I just can't stand the guy. Get yeah. out. Drives me nuts. But he's backpedaling now. No, As a coward scumbag <laughs> shake would. <laughs> and he's actually saying a lot of nice things about Randy. Well... Because now that he's had the chance to work with him and hear his side of the story and he's learned more about the story. And then it turns out Randy and his wife work together and she has nothing but glorious things to say about the man. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently she said he's easily the nicest man on the set to work with. Wow. Yeah, they work on the same pregame show together. She probably forced Joe to make these comments. (laughs) You will say that you regret saying that. Damn right. Uh, Or I'm cutting you off. Yeah, yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) That's even even though I mean, God, I couldn't tell you the last time I even saw something about that moment. But as soon as I saw that story of, of Joe regretting it, I was like, God. What a jerk. Yeah. You know, I I'm mean. I'm pissed all over again. <laughs> for a Vikings-Packers game, yeah. obviously the Packers fans. Yeah. Trashing on us. And there's and, a backstory to it. Right. That, that they would moon the bus when yes. it comes into town. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. And, and if you're the know-it-all sports guru, you should probably know that. He's lucky he didn't actually whip out his cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You've been right to do it, too. <laughs> I would have been fine with that. No kidding. That would have been awesome. <laughs> right. <laughs> a full moon for the cheese. Uh, yeah. yeah that, I mean, so, I again, thank you for keeping that story alive because not enough people are talking about that, yeah. that he's admitting he messed up. 
I will say it's nice that he's on ESPN now because now there's a lot less of him. Yeah, you know, right. Because we don't yeah. get him on, uh, you don't have any baseball games with him anymore. Nope. You just get the one Monday night game or it whatever. Is that's it. God, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And it's even better if you turn the volume down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's also uh, a group on Facebook. I hate Joe Buck. It's really funny. Yeah, so, I, I, I belong to that group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if you don't like Joe Buck, get on that Facebook. Group. Are you a card carrying <laughs> member? I am. <laughs> He's up for treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> listening to the Fox Morning Show. Coming up next, Dave's Deep Thought. 107.9 The Fox. And now it's time for Dave's Deep Thought with your radio pal, Dave Jacobs. On 107.9 The Fox. Found a cigarette butt next to the mousetrap in my basement like he sat there and thought about it. (laughs) Dave's Deep Thought. 107.9 The Fox. Now, here's the Fox Morning Show. On 107.9 The Fox. All right, hey, so Farley, since we're talking football, yeah. you excited for the Super Bowl? Do you like these two teams that are going to be playing? I, You know, I, I'm i glad the Lions didn't win. I was rooting for them. It was a cute little story, right? Good for them. Yeah, the, yeah, the Liverpool but Lions. If they would have made it to a Super Bowl before the Vikings did in my lifetime, I would have been mad as hell. That's the thing. That's it. Because that's what I told my boys. Because they were like, ah, we should probably cheer for the Lions. I'm like, why? I go, it's been 50-some years since they've been in this situation. They should have to pay their dues, too. Yeah. They should have to go to four Super Bowls and lose them <laughs> exactly. before they win their first. Well, that's why I was cheering for them. You know damn well they weren't going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want some team that hasn't won a Super Bowl win it before us. Yeah. I don't care who that is. Yeah, don't right? kidding. At this point, we're next in line. God, I tell you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's fine. I was hoping the Ravens would have made it um, for free of, wings. Kind of a, yeah, free for Popeyes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I yeah. Didn't know. If there was a team uh, associated with any kind of wings, and they were even going to allow Buffalo because of Buffalo wings, sure. that there was a you get a free six piece at Popeyes. Oh, man, I that, know. Well, Thanks for screwing to... that up. Yeah, Lamar absolutely. Jackson, blame yeah, me. Jackson blew that too. <laughs> yep, and... Action Jackson. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's the guy. <laughs> and the Chiefs. I'm just tired of the. Chiefs. I have nothing against them. I'm just tired of them. That's where I'm at too. I get it. I mean, I think everybody's got that fatigue. But now at this point, because it's you know down to these two teams, I think I'm going to embrace it. And say, you know what? Go at it. Yeah. Because we're watching history now, right? Yeah. If he, if Mahomes wins another one, he's starting to break records now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, big time records. Tom Brady records. Yeah. No, nope, I I completely agree. You know, but it, you know, we got what we got. You might as well enjoy it. And I'm yeah. gonna pull for somebody. It'll be the Chiefs. I think so. Plus, it's AFC. I feel less dirty if I do that. <laughs> I'm just pulling for my numbers on the boards. That's all I'm going <laughs> <Yeah>. for. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And uh, by the way, I thought this was interesting. They say that a lot of people, the top things that we buy before we host a Super Bowl party, either one of you hosting a Super Bowl party? No. Nope. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, uh, we are, but it's a small one. It's just me and Marge. <laughs> <laughs> people run out at this time of year and buy a new grill, a new TV, new dishes, and a new couch. Wow. So if you needed an excuse to buy any of those things. Or if you're looking an excuse to wreck the old couch, now's the time. <laughs> I, I don't know about the couch or the grill, but when I used to work at a, a big electronics store in town, the TV thing, for sure. People yeah. would come in and buy new TVs, and then, sure enough, a lot of times they, they came would back. come back afterwards. Did, was it Sears? No, it wasn't Sears. <laughs> I worked no. at Sears for a while, too. Extra job, and that's exactly it. Can't, and then, you know, Sears was no questions asked. Sure. Returns guaranteed, you know? Yeah. So, and, and that's how you made your money. You made draw on commission. So I, I got a commission on everything I sold. So if it e- got. Even if it comes back? It, when it comes back, I got to pay it back. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and that was. I I mean, it was a, it was six months, no questions asked. I'm like, are you kidding me? Jeepers. Yep. So no wonder they're out of business. So June was big for camcorders because of weddings and graduations. It would come back in July. Ah. And the same for Super Bowl, big screen TVs. Sure enough, Monday to be coming back. Oh, it clashed with the curtains. I didn't like. It. <laughs> no questions asked. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. 
Yeah. They're all on to us now. Wow. We can't do it. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to January 30th. Welcome back. Today is a very special day. And I think I smell croissants. It is National Croissant Day. Huh. Croissant. 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 Would you like a croissant? We are celebrating National Croissant Day this morning. Croissant. Oh, croissants. It's croissant. <laughs> croissants. I love croissants. Oh, yeah. It's showtime. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do love croissants, uh-huh. too. Yeah. Oh, we, but we're on a I don't good, have any. No. Draw a picture of one. <laughs> uh, that'll just tease you even more. Just picture me eating one. Yeah, right. <laughs> We've been on a good streak here of some good days of things to celebrate. Yeah, I, I yeah. Say, this is another reason to celebrate. This Fox forecast just keeps getting better. Now, starting out with some fog in some areas, but sunshine... Most of today with a high in the 40s. Tonight's low in the 30s and tomorrow, man, pushing 50. Again, one local weather guy says 53 the target high tomorrow, which would be a new Fargo record. Oh, we'll see. Bring it. Yeah. That full Fox forecast anytime at 1079thefox.com. We've got 34 at 801. Yeah, so enjoy your croissant day. You know, they never do nasty days like, you know, syphilis day or something like that. It's always something pleasant, <laughs> yes. which is nice. Yes. You know, no one enjoys syphilis, I'm sure. Welcome to it. 30th day of the new year already. Boy, 801. Here's what's shaking in our corner of the globe. Happy Tuesday. Uh, sad to report as authorities in Polk County, Minnesota, are investigating a possible abduction after a girl was found tied up on the side of the road last night. Mm. Actually, yesterday afternoon, or a little after 4.30, a 17-year-old girl was found along 4 Tenths Avenue Southwest in Bigland Township by a local resident. The girl told deputies she'd been abducted and taken to that location. She was medically cleared by Altru Ambulance. Authorities say they're investigating the incident. One Kyle Christopher Quito, 27, has been sentenced to more than five years in prison for shooting at a woman in front of her mother in Mapleton last year, uh, June 3rd to be exact. Quito fired one shot near a woman's foot and fired another shot at her. He had been scheduled to go on trial in November, but that was canceled after a plea deal. He was charged with aggravated assault, multiple terrorizing charges, reckless endangerment, and refusal to halt. As part of the plea deal, an attempted murder charge was dropped. He was sentenced Monday to 65 months in prison with credit for 240 days already served. Busy day as Fargo cops, along with Red River Valley SWAT team and Metro Street Crimes Unit, conducted a high-risk search warrant yesterday afternoon as well. Uh, Cops say the operation happened around 3 o'clock in the 600 block of 11th Street North in Fargo. Police were looking for a suspect in connection to an armed robbery earlier that day. Uh, Police were able to arrest one 34-year-old Claudio Degolado of Fargo. He's been charged with armed robbery and burglary, and he is currently sitting in Cass County Jail. And yeah, a heads up, Burger King selling its croissant breakfast sandwiches for a penny. That's it. You just got to spend a buck on something, and you got to go through the app, too. Okay. Some more good news stories. A former warehouse worker in England is now making 500 bucks a night as a full-time Elvis impersonator. Oh, yeah? Quit his, uh, quit his job as the... Is it working in the in the warehouse, and now he's making 500 bills a night. <laughs> Don't you have that buddy that's a Elvis impersonator? I'm my old neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I think he's still doing it. Wow. And also a bride in California donated her $15,000 reception to charity after she had to cancel her wedding last minute. Mm. How, do you, how do you donate that to charity? Yeah. But the people come in and eat. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. A Domino's delivery driver in Calif- in Colorado, pardon me, delivered a pizza, then stole a package. Uh-oh. They stuffed it in the pizza carrier. Whole thing's caught on doorbell camera. It's only a matter of time before they get caught. You're not getting away with anything Mm-mm. anymore. Mm-mm. Don't even try. Yeah, what a Ignoramus. Going. Yep. Uh, apparently, if you heard about this, there's a conspiracy online because a grocery store bakery already had a cookie cake that featured the two teams that made the Super Bowl. Oh. But one of the teams was the Baltimore Ravens. Oh. Who are not going to the Super Bowl. So now the conspiracy is that the teams had to be changed because people found out. Oh. People found out. (laughs) And finally, Costco, yes, is indeed selling a two-foot chocolate bunny just in time for anybody who wants to celebrate diabetic shock. (laughs) (laughs) That's your news for right now. You know, in 98, when the Vikings were... Expected to win it all, or at least make it to the Super Bowl, and then lost. And on Atlanta, that, that that one kick, that yeah, 
it ruined it forever. But uh, Denny yeah. Green, yeah, Denny Green and Randy Moss, and Chris Carter, Dante Culpepper. You remember the story. Well, anyway, there was a local guy who went and already put it on all kinds of little tchotchke things like pens and coffee cups and stuff like that. Vikings, Super Bowl, whatever number that would have oh, been. Oh, no. Then. And I have some of that stuff. Uh, yeah. Just as you know, no I reminder of how terrible our history is. It's, it's not good. Oh, Four oh, times. That's right. <laughs> All right. That's your headlines brought to you by JDP Electric. There's only one place you should trust with your home electrical needs, and that's JDP Electric. Call 232-1991 today to experience the JDP difference. Speaking of sports, we've got your schedule for you next. Edwards hangs, floats, and scores. Hey, Ant. He was the man last night, scoring 27, and the T-Wolves took down the Thunder. 107-101 to take over sole possession again of the Western Conference standings. But he was not happy after the game. I'm going to take the fine because the refs did not give us no calls tonight. We had to play through every bump, every grab. I don't know. I don't know how we won tonight. Uh, Big shout out to my team. Big shout out to my coaches, for sure. Oh, man, it was a hell of a game. It lived up to its advertising 11 lead changes just in the fourth quarter alone Jeez. yeah it went back and forth it was a slug fetch and the he wolves come out on top and again to claim the title of best in the west they're back on the hardwood tomorrow hosting the Mavs. meanwhile in baseball news the twins trading second baseman jorge polanco to the mariners in a five-player deal for those players coming the twins way and all four are pitchers and they might even get some cash out of this deal too Speaking of pitchers, pitchers and catchers starting to report next week already to some teams. Crazy. Man. Vikings tight end TJ Hawkinson finally had that surgery yesterday to repair the torn ACL in his right knee. His knee has been so swollen. They finally were able to get him in, get him under the knife. Hopefully he'll be ready by the time next season starts. But you know what? Training camp is roughly only six months away. Hard to believe. But the Vikings at this point don't have a timetable for Hawkinson's return to the field. Still got that one game left in this season to wrap it all up. And that is, well, of course, unless you count the Pro Bowl, you know, the punt, pass, and kick thing that you are looking forward to, Dave. I am. Yeah. It's a highlight of something. I guess two games left. But (laughs) as far as the (laughs) big and final game goes, the Super Bowl already breaking records when it comes to ticket prices. The average ticket price is a staggering $12,082, up 70% from last season. Oh, yeah, and nosebleeds, 5795 That's the minimum you're going to pay for a single ticket to see Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas on Sunday, February 11th. That's a trip or two to, to Mexico for a week. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, easily. Yeah. God. All right, that's your Fox Sports. That Fox forecast again with some fog in some areas this morning. Sunshine the rest of today with a high reach in the 40s. 30s tonight, maybe pushing 50 tomorrow. That full Fox forecast anytime at 1079thefox.com. 34 now at 812. Well, are you looking for a unicorn? Because I ordered one on Wish, and you (laughs) wouldn't believe it. We'll talk about it coming up. Now here's the Fox Morning Show. 107.9 107.9 The Fox. Uh, Dave, this just popped up on my Facebook feed. A post from you. You ordered a unicorn on Wish? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I just stole that meme from someone. <laughs> it's hilarious. Or <laughs> I did someone had to, uh, yeah. You'll, <laughs> go to Dave Jacobs. You'll see. <laughs> it, it's what you would expect of a unicorn from Wish. But not to knock pugs. I love pugs, too. So <laughs> any animal. Any animal. Yeah. That's the thing, though. That's what makes this funny is you never know what you're going to actually get from nope. Wish when you order from them. No. Nope. Expect the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's their tagline, isn't it? Is that what it is? I believe it is. <laughs> Wish. Expect the worst. Them and Timu, right? Is it Timu? Timu's the other one that, you know, and our, our board op, Polly, loves Timu, orders from it all the time. And I'm just like, what? I've got him a <laughs> side eye look and he's like no it's and it's super cheap but you don't know what you're gonna get if you wear a 2x shirt you might want to try to find it in a 9x so it'll fit
<laughs> and if you like the color blue, well, it's about a 50-50 shot. You'll actually get something that's the color you expected. Right. It's probably going to be some leftover Detroit Lion gear that <laughs> yeah. didn't get sold. You were hoping for navy blue, but they had Honolulu blue. <laughs> Close enough. That's Bingo. pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Very lovely. <laughs> it got me to thinking, you know, everybody's always talking about how better one is than the other. Yeah. I don't think there's one much better than the other. But Valentine's Day is around the corner. Oh, yeah. We should each pick something and the same item. Okay. You order it from Wish, and I'll order it from Timu, or vice versa. I don't sure. care. I've never ordered from either. <laughs> okay. And I think... And see what we actually and get. And see what we get. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's kind of a mystery. Yeah. And see what, you know, yeah. let, let's well, let's settle this hash once and for all. Which is better, Timu or Wish? I got to buy something for Wendy anyway. And we'll keep it, you know, sensible. Ten bucks each. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Right? All right. Okay. Yeah. The wise would want that. Do you know? We're gonna stay right. frugal today's economy. Well, we we will tell them we spent twenty bucks on it. I, yeah, I I had this shipped in from China. <laughs> All right, this is special. <laughs> All right. Well, we better get think? shopping. Yeah, now we got to figure out what we want. As okay. long as it's the same, same item, we'll see which one wins. Right. Is it Timu? Is it Wish? <laughs> You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.